from online curriculum resources provided at no cost to administrative offerings that enable data-driven decisions, SAS offers educators unparalleled opportunities to enhance student achievement, boost teacher effectiveness, and improve overall school and district performance. You often tell audiences to use data as a flashlight and not a hammer. What do you mean? So I think so often in education, we've seen educators have a rational dis distrust of data because in the past, any kind of education data that's been used has been used oftentimes as a blunt instrument to, to pound them down, to make them feel like they failed or to provide information that might not have been in context. And part of the work that we're doing with the campaign partners is to really change that conversation and that culture and to help educators see data not as a hammer, but as a flashlight, as a tool, probably the most valuable tool in their arsenal uh, for improving their teaching and the effectiveness of learning going on in their classroom. Because data, when used well, can be used to shine a light on what's working well, uh, on areas that need better focus or, or new approaches, uh, but also areas um, at large that are worthy of study. So it really is a big culture change um, to to help educators in particular, but all of us who are stakeholders in education, to think about data. And it really, this idea of data as a flashlight is absolutely critical to the idea of using data not only for compliance purposes, not only for accountability purposes, but truly for using information for continuous improvement. Um, we have a lot further to go in helping to move from merely collecting more robust information to truly using it and taking actions at the state level and at the district level that reinforce actions about um, encouraging all stakeholders to use this information for improvement purposes and not just collecting it and reporting it. Uh, and that takes a lot more time and energy uh, and we have a lot further to go. In our set of survey, our first survey that we did on state actions this past year, what we found is that fewer than four, uh, 43 states or 43 states have taken fewer than three of the state actions that we think are necessary to really change this culture around effective data use. You mentioned a need for political will to make this happen and to make this data more usable. What kind of things do you uh, envision when you see data being more accessible, not only just to educators, but to the general public? So I think it's all about really increasing the demand and meeting people's self-interest. That these systems are only going to be sustainable and they're only going to be valuable to people when they bring individual value to, to what they're working on. So as a teacher, uh, you know, if I'm a teacher, I want to expect having information at my fingertips that about the kids in my class. How are they doing? Uh, what's their academic history? How are they doing not just on the high stakes test, but what are, how are they doing on what I taught last week? And then how do I have at the fingertips based on what the results of these achievement measures are? What do I then, what are different approaches or different ways that I can go back and teach things that maybe my kids didn't get? As a parent, I need contextual information. I just can't have a report card that is happening in a vacuum. I want to know, is my kid on track to have the greatest number of options open to her when she graduates in 12th grade? And how do I know what that trajectory looks like? What's the context? Um, how's my kid doing in relation not just to other kids in her school district, in her classroom, but to kids internationally? Because that's the 21st century economy we're working towards. So I think the key thing is providing information in a contextual fashion, in a timely manner, but in a way that is really tailored to the needs of individual stakeholders in the system. And it needs to be presented in a format that's actionable. We just, we've got to get past this idea of just putting information out there and assuming people are going to know what to do with it. You know, we have a lot to learn from industry, from different companies that have gotten exactly how to market to us. We need the same expectations in education of what is it that people need to do their jobs better, better whether it be as a student, a parent, a teacher, an administrator, a governor, and we need to develop and deliver information in that way to make a difference.